Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Theta, this is Lessons, and we're here with SDF Macross episode 13. I believe you got something to say about that? Yes, well, we have the rundown from the last episode, which was Big Escape, uh, episode 12. As four might clone prisoners attempt to make their escape, which are, are foursome of Mikasi, uh, Ayase, Hikaru, uh, Max, Genius, and I can never say the last na last name of the other guy. Was it Heyo? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you already do Heyo? Heyo. Uh, they uh, make their big right, say, but also three uh, the three Centrati who first contacted the um, the Macross. They got the uh, the video from Miss Macross. Volunteered to become. Uh, microns, uh, they got shrunk to size to become spies inside the Macross, and they were uh, they went into the Macross, and now we see for the first time female Centrati, specifically one Milia Faliana, who is a uh, fighter of Ace, and who kicked ass all the way in. So now both uh, our foursome made made it back from Centrati space back to the Macross, but also we have new Centrati characters inside the Macross itself. We don't know what's going to happen to them. Um, and also, we've seen the power of the Centrati able to destroy the entire world. So, you know, things are getting dicey. I mean, that was last episode. Uh, that was yeah. episode before last... Oh, last that. episode we were just talking about. But the episode before last episode. A couple of things... Ah, oh, shit, I've already forgotten them. A couple of things. Did our... Um, did my badass guy come back with? Because he couldn't have been on the ship with the women. No, no, he was He's... actually he got sidelined he, because he let uh, the my, the the mic clones escape. Yeah, because they flew they through, they a blasted through, well, blasted through a wall. Well, through a wall, and he's like, "Well, you're incompetent. You're out of the mission. We're sending the ladies to do this." Because Max Genius took a look at a wall and said, "Yeah, my jet can pierce that, even though I have no idea." I guess he must be thinking, you know. They've got no technicians. They're not repairing shit. This must be a weak wall. That was just a weird, it, crazy choice. Yeah. Crap, it did I... explode afterwards after it got shot up to pieces and went through a wall and fought some aliens. Yeah, that 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 Valkyrie wasn't gonna last forever. He he took a gamble on am I a main character and succeeded. <laughs> um, I guess the only other thought oh shit. Oh shit. I when I looked at the board, right, when I'm making the board uh, and I take the images off of behind the voice actors, which tells usually gives me a, a fair number of people that are in the show and it gives me an image of right the, about the same size for me to put on the board so everything lines up. Those three guys have been on that thing. I didn't add them to the board despite them being in an episode. One, because they hadn't been named yet. And I think being named... It's typically one of the first steps to being a character on the board. And you might point out that I put Max on the board before he'd ever been named, and possibly 11 episodes before he was ever shown. But as I said, I was reading a, an episode-by-episode -episode rundown of everyone's first appearances, and there is a green-haired pilot in that first episode of SDF Macross, and the, the listing claims that is Max. That is the back of Max's head. So that's what I used there. But I guess between here and whenever the next time I do a board update is, these three guys, having now been named, will finally get their chance to be put up. And since they're being infiltrators, they'll have a chance to have lines connected to the other Macross crew, which will be more lines than the majority of all of the Zentradi. Because I think, uh, we're calling them Britai now, right? Oh, Britai, yeah. This, I don't know where that comes from, considering his name, but well, we see in the in the sub in the uh, subtitles they do use other names. So I'm going I'm going for the subtitle name because it's easier to pronounce. It's easier to remember. Well, I'll give yeah. you that. But uh, yeah, there'll be more connections between uh, these three, I imagine, unless I get like fucking killed the moment they show up. There'll be more connections between them and every other Macross character than the ones I have between Britai which I think is two, three, four characters at the moment. Because if these guys are going to have to infiltrate, one, they're going to have to learn the language. We saw that the translation uh, protocol, not protocol, 
ships, transponder, I don't remember what they call it, translation, whatever, was a whole fucking desk. And not only just a desk, a giant desk. So it means that these guys are going to have to learn Japanese? I don't know. I guess Japanese is the common language of Macross, right? Uh, technically, I think it's, everything's supposed to be English, but of course we're hearing Japanese because it's a Japanese show. Um, yeah, I guess so, because if I think about it, on the size of planes and everything, the rank abbreviation is in uh, English. And we're watching this in subtitles, which means that even when we're seeing English letters, that has to be the implication. It just, this isn't the era of show where you can look at like, a screen in the background and try to read what's going past it, because we're just doing blurry shit. I think mm-hmm. even into the 90s and early 2000s, we still don't like do the heavy detail of typing stuff in the background yet. Yeah. So, I, what is the most modern Macross show? Uh, Frontier. No, uh, Delta. Okay, I'm saying... Besides Zero, I thought Zero was going to be the more modern one, but Delta comes after Delta. Zero? Uh, the last show was Delta. So, in the lineup is Delta. Delta, Frontier... Seven plus seven and plus came almost simultaneously. Uh, there's a couple of movies in between. Well, how long ago uh, was it, the last one? About two years ago, three years ago. Oh, okay, so they're really just coming out recently, still. Yeah. Okay, well that's good. See. I guess they're keeping step in step with their uh, their competitors then. I mean that's good though. I I appreciate. The only thing that I won't appreciate quite as much is if that they release something behind us. That was always my worry yeah. when it came to the UC Gundam watch through was that UC Gundam is still being made. It's entirely possible we could get six epi- six series in and then boom, they make something back in time that we would uh, get to like Macross Frontier and all of a sudden they release something that happens right after SDF Macross. Now, Macross Delta is 2016. One season. Okay, so eight years ago. Okay. Well, I think that's still within the realm of... Well, I don't even know about that. The only time I can think about having a lot of time spent watching an anime and then pausing in every screen to zoom in and realize like the paperwork on a guy's desk can be zoomed in on and read. I can't tell you how many times I, in 86, right? I read the orders that the High Command or the the Republic was giving the 86ers by stopping and reading the words on the desk. <laughs> I mean, it's very insightful because it's a lot more information than you get by just listening to the characters. You, you understand that the, the main command wants these people to die and is sending them on a suicide mission a lot more if you're reading the words on the paper than just the implication of the subtext that they're speaking to one another. Um, but yeah, what else? Do you have any other thoughts or expectations of this episode? Because it didn't seem like they oh. were talking about the infiltration. I don't know what blue wind is off the top of my head. No, no. Um, I think it's this is going to be a final uh, change of pace, you know, because very high action last time. And I think this is going to be more more intimate, more character driven. Hey, Min May, I'm but back. Yeah, that too. Is she even there? I don't know. Is she going to be there? I don't know. She's very busy. Well, I mean, she's going to be there. She might not be interactable. She had no yeah. choice. She had nowhere else to go. Yeah. Um. What else? We don't know what the other two guys are up to when, when they're not spending time with uh, Hikaru. And Misa. I don't know if they're going to imply there's a relationship there or not. The implication was pretty heavy. I don't know if she's going to follow through or not, but yeah, that's... Uh... Well, I mean, we don't know. Like you were saying that Minmay is flighty, according to you, in the first few episodes yeah. of the series. Is an older woman going to be flighty? Is Minmay flighty due to age? Or just to whatever attraction befits her? Is she bubble-brained? You know? Is Minmay uh, a bimbo? That's not the word. What's the word? That. That, that thing's a pretty harsh for me. me well, yeah. no, I mean, bimbo, I think, is the terminology. Like a Southern Californian girl that's more focused on looks than, say, uh, detail. I, Min May's constant look at the camera. You know, she's yeah. pulling a 
This I would I think in the same respect that you would call Zoolander a male bimbo, whatever that's called. I forget. And she's constantly doing one of those at the camera, and it's really weird in the art style that we have. Same reason why the scientist has alien eyes. But um, I guess the the argument is it would an older woman, even though she's not even older by realistic standards, be as flighty or as absent-minded as Min May? Or do you think Misa is more capable of finding time than Min May is? I mean, she is uh, the executive order uh, officer of the ship, so I don't think she has a lot of time to socialize with her, you know, subordinate. So. How many times have we seen the rest of the bridge crew out and wandering? At least once. More than that. We saw them buying lingerie. Then we saw them wandering around the outside of the uh, the training base when they encounter uh, Hikaru later. We saw them wander up on Hikaru uh, when he is getting stood up by Minmay. Remember, she calls him, and that's when they decide yeah. to wander off. Like, oh, this is uncomfortable. Yeah. So they're constantly wandering about. Yeah, we, but now Misa only only was one with them once. We know that Misa has no social life, though. Yeah. With the opportunity to have one, would she then not take it? Like, we know that she's able to ask and get stuff like hey can i do this mission on the 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 radar plane thing yeah it's like why would you i don't know i'm asking <laughs> and then she does and then she gets captured well right, my point is that she has the ability to ask also i don't know i think only other time we've seen her off the bridge was um the coffee scene not the coffee where they had on the bridge. The the mess hall. I couldn't think of it. The mess the hall. Mess hall yeah. I can't really remember if she was actually there or not. I think once I think his... She, she comes in to talk to uh, Claudia. I know I what's what his name's sister was there. Yeah. LaSalle. I couldn't Claudia. remember. Claudia LaSalle, yeah. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it for me. Are you good? I'm good. All right, then. Hopefully, I just, just minimize that. There we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get on into it then. But before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this on Filtered, on Censored, and on Cut, as well as more early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. Just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure. It's all support the channel, just a little bit extra. Such a weird look. The the whole <laughs> you know <laughs> like, obviously I'm doing it weirdly, but he gives it like boredom almost. I don't know how to describe the outlook in his eyes. Like it's just normal for him. That's just what he does. It's a Sunday for him, basically. But the slow pan, like imagine if I started yeah. a call, you joined the call and I was just doing this and I went. You'd think something was wrong, wouldn't you? What happened, buddy? You okay, buddy? I just stabbed myself in the leg. <laughs> Can I? <help? laughs> it's not the look for just a normal, okay, I'm ready to pilot. That's all I'm getting at. It, it It's the dramatic look of very important news, right? We yeah, got I lessons. The... They just launched the nukes. <laughs> it's it's the uh, I am the uh, protagonist of the show. Look, look at me. I mean, I, maybe in the live action thing, right, where someone's like got their arms outspread and they're doing a yeah, I'm real pumped, and then they do the I'm about to fight you look, like you know, oh yeah, I'm pumped for doing this. But he's got nothing. He hasn't even taken off yet. <laughs> Hisaki. Oh, that's why. That's, hard name. that's why she's so ashamed. Because she literally did one of those, you know, scared woman moves after we've already yeah. gotten the double misogyny thing. Oh. 
Oh, there's other people in, in the bridge. To be fair, she is like in a little indent. Yeah. Although I haven't no, seen her either. Yeah, so there are people in all the uniforms. Maybe she's the one with Min May. Red hair. <laughs> Comparable <laughs> outfit. Oh, I thought they were about to imply those people. Like, how'd they get outfits? It's not even your uniform. Your uniform's like this big old red number. Are they going to start wearing women's clothing because they think that's what the uniform is? <laughs> Which I guess would be a lot funnier in the 80s. Just like yeah. chuckle these days. Oh. <laughs> So they're super strong? No, okay. <laughs> I thought they were doing that by hand. So I guess the Macross also doesn't have internal sensors. Not for this specifically. They didn't detect a massive air breach when the hand ripped open the hull, put them in, and sealed it again. That's a big computer. Console. <laughs> At first I thought it was like a big bottom with fireflies inside of it. <laughs> oh, I was thinking like massive uh, transistor tube. But I guess they were simulating how many ships that they saw? ミサと光たちは敵は社会全体が軍組織しかなく民間人という概念はないことさらに戦いのみの歴史を続けてきたために人工的に巨大化したのではないかという推測 巨人を縮小するマイクロンの技術。そして地球人がプロトカルチャーではないかと恐れているらしいことです。so as I was saying, when describing protoculture, they just described culture. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's called protoculture because it's, it's the first culture. It's different from their current culture, which yeah. we now know because they lost their culture when they became giants. Just wait till you go Super Saiyan. I honestly don't even know what would be harmed if you just open transmitted what you knew about this Entrati. Because the shit that we know isn't even like military secret, right? It's like, they're giants. They have a lot of ships. We don't know exactly how many, but a lot. Does everyone get a medal for this one too? I don't know, maybe they do. You are a woman. I don't think it's because women. It's like they don't. Again, she doesn't have photo, uh, other memory. 
Right, right, but I mean, he didn't say that to anybody else. You combine the misogyny of the show with every, all the factors in yeah. play. He didn't say, Hiroko, I believe you, but... <laughs> Oh, they got promoted. So you think that's going to get him more underlings? <sighs> oh yeah, blocking the traffic. Pull a Star Trek 2. 4. Star Trek 4. Is that supposed to be the equivalent of the Habuyas Habuyasa? Or is that very famous crossing in Tokyo where, you know, it's very long across the... I don't know, that one's a V shape. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure I just saw a sign in the background that said SNES. Oh, that was sexual assault. Hmm. So, what, Tim Hortons? うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
in case you missed the song the first time. Also, I think Minmei might own my plane. Yeah. See, the problem here is that Zentradi didn't seem at all care, or... It seemed like they didn't question what a song was. They were questioning what the audience was doing. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be named. So I guess now if something happens to Global, she could take over. Yeah. Coffee time. That's really all we do here on this bridge. There goes the coffee. That's why that look on her face came from. <laughs> God damn it, that was McDonald's hot. Wow. If you know the case, that wow, that's a horrible story. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean... It was, what, over 100 degrees? Kind of boiled her skin off? Roy still outranks him, right? Yeah. See, in my head, I'm seeing that whole scene from that, uh... That was that movie that rips off Battlestar Galactica. Airplane 2? No, no, like, the whole movie is just ripping the space scenes from Battlestar Galactica. And otherwise, it's cheap sets all inside. Red Brown is in it. Oh. They do chase scenes in, like, a factory. It's just supposed to be the inside of the ship on golf carts with, like, stuff put on top of them. Yeah. That's a big hat, by the way. That's a huge hat. It's bigger than it's been before. Yeah. I also didn't notice he's got, like, stripes on his leggings, either. Yeah, he's mentioned that before. How his clan does things. And they do seem to have an infinite number of Valkyries considering how many squadrons they lose per fight. Yeah, they have the Voyager shuttle aspect where they always have fighters. Yeah, and in this case, our Delta Flyer is a rebuilt Hiroko's thing. I've already forgotten the name of it. Which I'm just stating as an irony because they never use it. He was wearing the dress again. You saw that, right? Yeah. In the long shot, he was in the dress. And he see, he changed. He was changed at the concert. Did they? Did they make an announcement? 
You'd think they would have set up something to lock cars down and shit by now. They seem not to be doing damage to the city. That They fix that part. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if you're going to set everything up, right? Look, the cars are here in the junction area. <laughs> Just saying, if I set all that shit up, I would have also said, hey, by law, you're now legally required to park in lockdown parking spots so that when we transform... Yeah people aren't getting slapped in the face by a floating car. It's beyond me why that one aircraft carrier is formed like a claw. What purpose does that serve? Red and water. I guess the macros is not making around. They're just gonna fire that main gun no matter what. That last shot, the macros wasn't transformed. <laughs> when it fired the gun, that was ship macros. Yeah. I think we lost some animation budget. Do not play these girls at ski ball. That's where they're from. They're the, the ski ball girls. The ones that were on the ah. bridge earlier. We just switched them out. Yeah. See, it's a ship. It would have huh? leg. It would have a body and legs if it was a transformation mode. No, because we're seeing it from the top. You see what I'm talking about? Well, then it would have two giant aircraft carriers jutting up to the sky. To the sides. Like this. No, we saw it in yep. transformation mode. It, it, it's like this. It's arms out. <laughs> see, I told you the women were more intelligent. My guy sends a retreat order. The women are like, join the fuck in. Never mind. I guess everybody hates victory. See? I mean, the, the orders Arms are out. there not to just Yeah, no, but the orders are there not to destroy the ship, so... I mean, land and invasion force. Nobody with a name, anyway. Quick, Captain. The aircraft carriers weren't designed for re-entry. They, in fact, weren't even designed to leave orbit. <laughs> It's just seems like a dumb move. They should have stayed in space. We'll find out if there's any air leaks you didn't solve. Oh, that's one way to clean the ship. 
Yeah, but how many systems did they destroy to get down to the planet? Well, I think the system damaged, it was because it got damaged in the attack. Well, they were blowing up as they were falling, and there was nobody attacking them. No, no, but they said that the reason why they had damage is because of the attack hit one of the trusters. Right, right. My point was more that they got destroyed coming down when they could have just stayed in orbit. We know that the uh, UN has been building up, but they had nothing, what, a month ago? But they could have transported these civilians down to the planet with, like, shuttles or something. Oh no, it's the anti UN. They're back. Macrosua, Yoyak, Tue Modotte, Tita. Scash, Zentradi, no Kyoyua, Imada, Macrosto, Tue, well, they mean they are. Just like it always had. マクロス。しかし、艦長グローバルにとってはさらに強敵が待ち構えていた。統合政府と軍上層部である。いかにすれば、ゼントラーリーに関する信じがたい事実を受け入れてもらえるのか。次回、超時空要塞マクロスグロー
Yeah, but they haven't made any other attempts to capture the ship. And they've made that attempt to capture the ship before they even told the ship to surrender. <laughs> like I said, they're, they're, none of these things add up. It feels like we're being attacked by five different forces that each are trying to do their own thing. We that know we know the weird guy from the clan, I can't remember his name uh, ever, is trying to just win, and he doesn't care about taking it or destroying it or whatever. He just wants to be done and win. The women are just like uh, Braytai. They just want to follow orders. So I can't remember the woman's name because I haven't put her on the board yet, which means I haven't interacted with her character at all. And her name was long enough, just like all Centrati names, to not be instantly recognizable. But they're just like Braytai, which is follow the commands and stop doing whatever. Obviously, they don't have the hurtful retreat beam that Braytai has. Hmm. But yeah, there is a lot of... Again, I can't believe it was eight months before they demanded a surrender. Let's chase them across the solar system. Back to the point we obviously knew that we're going back to. There's no civilization of uh, me clones anywhere else in the solar system. Well, I can't say that. Obviously, we had a Mars base at one point. So who the hell knows where else we might be. I mean, yeah. It... Again, I think it's... Um... As... The only answer to that is, oh, we don't understand what's going on, so we're not going to destroy the ship because we have this ancient prohibition that, against protoculture, that's it. And we're following orders because that's what we were told. I mean, I guess we just don't know what Golg is up to ultimately. Well, I say we. You do. I don't. <laughs> that's always my fallback of you at least remember what Robotech was up to. Well, any other thoughts about this episode? Not at the moment. All right, then. I think that's it for us today, then. This has been Stoneface Reactions. I'm Theta. This is Lessons. And we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs> <laughs>